Hi guys, Ryu here with another tutorial for Hardops in Blender. Today I want to talk to you about Smart Apply. So what is it all about? Well, let's add bevel to this mesh, create a simple cut, go to Q menu, I'll click on Sharpen to add weighted normals and Alt X and create a mirror. Let's create two mirrors. Now we have a boolean bevel mirror and weighted normals. If I went to Q and Control click on Sharpen, it will apply the boolean but will not apply the mirror. See now that's where Smart Apply comes in. So if I go to Q Operations and Smart Apply, it will apply two modifiers, so boolean and the mirror, and it will leave bevel and weighted normals. That's a very quick and easy way of getting rid of all the booleans and mirrors and cleaning the mesh so you can proceed with other cuts if you so desire. Another thing that you can do with Smart Apply is actually really cool. So let's cut this cube a few times like this, okay? Let's add weighted normals and let's make this bevel a bit smaller. Now you can use Smart Apply to duplicate objects. However, you might ask, well, why would I need that? I can do it by clicking Shift D. Well, you can, but the problem you see is that if I go to Modifier Stack, this cube has all the modifiers carried with it, right? So if I move G and move back here to this spot where the booleans are, you can see it's getting cut. It's been cut because it has the booleans in. So I would need to remove everything from the cube. See, that's where Smart Apply comes in. You press Q and Operations and you shift click on Smart Apply. It will duplicate the object, but in a very special way. So if I bring this object to local mode, go to edit, you can see that all the booleans were applied, but the bevel is missing. And so is the weighted normals. So let's see what we can do. I'm going to go to edit mode, select this face. I'm going to inset it, press Ctrl I. X and delete the faces. Now I have something like this. I'm gonna select it, extrude it, and go back to to a global view. Now I'm gonna move this cube inside of uh, the other cube and click on it, press Q and difference. Now you see the cool thing about it is that this cube is still just a cube. If I wanted to create an inset like this, I would have no choice but to apply all the modifiers, uh, the booleans, to be able to inset the face, right? So that function allows me to work very quickly and create shapes like this. Another thing that you can do with a smart apply is create pipes and sort of curves out of um, edges. So if I duplicate this um, shape and go to local mode and go to my verts, delete these, right? And now I'm going to, well, let's switch it to uh, solid mode, so we can see what we're doing. Go to vert mode, A, Q, control click on mark, press 2 to change the bevel type, apply this, go back, Q, operations, and click control and smart apply, and now you have pipes. So one has to smooth it out, go back out of the uh, local mode, G, Y, and Bob Jankle. Now you got pipes, so some kind of a ceiling for the door. Um, you can create all kinds of crazy stuff with it. And we could adjust this uh, modifier here for the bevels. Actually, let's go to select, select similar, and direction. There we go. So let's bevel this manually like this. Put it back in. There you go. Another thing that you can do is smart apply is bevel stepping, which is creating a secondary bevel half the size of the previous one. So in this case, I only have one bevel. If I go to modifier stack, I have bulb, bulb, bevel, and weighted normals. Now, if I want any new bevel, I'm just gonna click on the cube, Q, and um, Shift Control click a bevel, press X to make it a half size. And now I have a half size bevel of this one. So if I go to bevel, adjust this bevel, press Q, I can adjust the second bevel. Now I can do the same thing with Smart Apply. So I could just press Q, go to Operations, and Alt click on Smart Apply and it will apply the same thing. So if I'm gonna create a new cut, I'm gonna have three bevels now. So this bevel, this bevel, and this bevel. 
it's exactly the same thing as as if you were pressing Q and Control Shift, clicking on bevel and pressing X, or just going to operations and clicking on step. The reason why Smart Apply is starting to inherit some of these functions is because probably step is gonna disappear and Smart Apply is gonna move to the main menu. I think it should be there by now because I find myself using this a lot and quite frankly clicking on operations and going to Smart Apply is just one action too many. And that's how lazy I got using hard ops. Imagine that. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Give us a like and subscribe if you did. Helps the channel a lot and it's appreciated. And I'll talk to you in the next vid.